In this third step, we are simply implementing the solution, just going through the detailed steps of the solution, doing the algebra, and so on. So first step, so we are solving from scratch. And so we need the governing equation and boundary conditions. So, so we need to choose the governing equation. So notice that we have done governing equation for three different coordinate system. And for each coordinate system, then the governing equation has many terms. So we need to keep only the terms we need. Now, this one, it is given that it's a cylindrical uh, coordinate system. So, so we choose the equation for the cylindrical coordinate system and then we look at the different terms. Now this is my diffusion term because it has the diffusivity with it and it has three terms r, phi and z r, phi, and z, and, and so depends on which term do we need to keep or, or we need to decide on which of these terms we need to keep. So then we are already told that there is no variation in this direction. So this phi term goes away. Also, there is no variation along the length of the tree. This is also said, if not said explicitly, it is implicit um, because the length dimension and all are not given. So we only have radial diffusion. So we only keep the radial term. And then as it said that the TCE is not being degraded so the reaction term goes away and because it's a transient process it is not a transient process it the, the transient term also goes away so we have only one term is equal to zero so we have D del del R before that one over R del del R of r del c del r equal to zero. This is my governing equation in the right geometry and with the right number of terms. So we now have to choose the boundary condition. Remember the governing equation we chose is second order. So let's write that again r del c del r equal to zero. So this has a second order term. It will get a del square c del r square if you break it down. So if it's a second order equation, then you need two boundary condition. So the two boundary conditions given are the inside surface at r equal to 90 centimeter, it has this concentration and the outside surface at r equal to 100 millimeter, it has this concentration. So these are my boundary conditions. Okay, so now we are left to simply solve for C. So let's write the equation one last time, del del r of r del c del r equal to zero. So this drops out because it's equal to zero. So r del c del r is equal to some constant. So del c del r is equal to a over r. So c equal to a natural log of r over b, uh, I mean plus b. And so we have these two unknowns, constants of integration that we need to evaluate based on the two boundary conditions we have. We simply have to plug in these two 
boundary conditions but be careful this is in millimeters and then the concentration is 8 grams per meter cube so the millimeters have to be converted to meters so let's plug in the first one so we get 8 equal to so this is where we're plugging in 8 equal to a natural log of 0 0.1 plus b and then the if we plug in the second one the second one this was the first one um, so we get 204 equal to a natural log of um, 0 0.09 plus b now if i subtract the second one from the first one then we get minus 196 on one side and we get a natural log of 0.1 over 0.9 so that is same as a natural log of 0.1 minus a natural log of 0 0.09 um, and so from there I solve for a and then substituting for a in the in any one of these equations um, I can get B so my final concentration um, profile is given by this this is a concentration profile because it's C as a function of radius this is the second part of this problem or the second question and it has to do with finding flux so it is important for one to think that in by finding flux it is diffusive flux because there is only diffusion in this problem so diffusive flux is always related to the concentration by Fourier's law it's uh, I mean the fixed law you see it is the same equation all the time but one thing we have to be careful is flux is defined at a location so we are talking about flux at r equal to 100 millimeter so since my concentration equation looks like this then my del c del r is simply equal to minus 1860.28 over r ddr of natural log okay so this is what i plug in here so i put in numbers for the um the r because this is the location we are interested in at r equals 100 and this is my diffusivity value that gives me flux you notice the unit of flux it is mass per unit area per unit time now as we had discussed before that there is another approach to solve this problem you didn't have a choice because the problem here asked you to do this from scratch which is GE plus BC but if we had a choice then maybe we didn't need to do all of that derivation because in that choice and so this is when we ask the you know the answer to the question with will a resistance analysis works is yes so if resistance analysis works then maybe it will be easier so how many resistances are there well there is only one resistance so it's the radial transport so it's just the res resistance of the 
uh, of the layer of the outside layer of the stem and and then we need to think of resistances in what geometry so in resistance formulation as you can see here um, let me erase this a little so you can see sorry in the resistance formulation flow is concentration difference between it, difference divided by the tra mass transfer resistance so flow in this case is concentration difference between inside and outside of the um, the, the stem and and the resistance we need to do this in the right coordinate system so in the cylindrical coordinate system this is my resistance formula so now we simply have to plug in so concentration difference inside is 204 outside is 8 natural log of r0 is the outside radius ri is the inside radius and this is my diffusivity if you plug all that in then you get the flow and then from the flow we can find the flux notice that this is flow and it has a l in it l is the length of the the branch or the tree and we do not know l but we also don't need flow what we need is flux so flux is calculated from flow dividing by the area so flow divided by this is my surface area pi times d which is 2r0 times l so when you divide that then l goes away and we get the final answer which is same as doing from uh, scratch from governing equation and boundary condition that should not be surprising for a second because this formula that we got it actually comes this one comes from solving governing equation and boundary conditions so it's just that um, you know once the solution is done this is a more compact way of doing it but as we said you do not have a choice if you have been asked to solve from governing equation and boundary condition